What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Looking at some of the in-season recruiting, Reggie Cook. We are down to number three on his list, or not number three. We're number one on his list in the top three, and we are scheduling him to visit next week. And with Pat Hadley, we are still in the top of his list there. Today we're going to be taking on the Portland State Vikings led by Joey Jackson at quarterback putting together a pretty solid season. He's only thrown three picks so far. They have a good running back. We've struggled against good running backs, although we've gotten a little better over the last few games. We are coming off of a win over the Eastern Washington Eagles and then before that a very close game against Idaho. Their defense here in Portland State looks pretty solid. They've got three players with double-digit tackles for loss. And then they've got a handful of sacks as well, and a lot of players each with one interception. Portland State is 5-3 going into this game. They have hopes for a potential bowl game. We, meanwhile, Montana State is just 2-7, and seven, although we've kind of gotten our act together over the past few weeks. The Vikings are going to get the football to start off this game here. Jackson looking to throw for the first time today, and his pass is going to be broken up. On second down, they're going to give the football to Callahan, who coughs up the football. Jones is there for the fumble recovery, but still a good play there, there made by Green as he forces the fumble. That is going to lead to a one-yard loss, so now on third down and 11, Jackson's going to fire to the left side. He's got Kennedy working down the left sideline, and he is gone. Touchdown, Portland State. What a pass and throw. We got them into a third down and long situation, and the defense, honestly, I don't think could have played this a whole lot better. There's three defenders in the vicinity there, but unable to stop that play, and the Bobcats find themselves down 7-0 early. Here's John Spencer taking off and running on the first play of the game for the Bobcat offense. He makes a man miss and gets out to the 40-yard line. Now here's Brandon Adriano coming off a 200-yard game against Eastern Washington, picking up over 20 yards on his first carry today. Devin Greco, he also had some nice runs last week, picks up three yards there. Spencer throwing this one to the left side, and that's going to be a drop by Doolin. MSU is faced with third and seven now. John Spencer's got a wide open running lane. He's going to take it sliding down at the 25-yard line. Now here's a handoff to Adriano, breaking this one out to the right side, making a defender miss, and he's in the end zone for the Bobcat score, tying the game up at seven apiece. Two big runs for him so far already in today's game, and we've got ourselves a ball game here in the first quarter. All tied up at seven apiece now. Portland State looks to respond, but there's going to be an incompletion on first down. Jackson throws underneath there for Kennedy. He'll pick up about five yards, and it looks like he may have injured his elbow on that play. He'll have to check out of the ball game, but he will return shortly. On third down, we got some play action here, and a man open deep. That is Pruitt, who beat Brock Eugene, the true freshman cornerback, left on an island there, but he got beat on that play, and that's going to result in a big play for the Vikings. Jackson throwing over the middle. He's got Pruitt again. That's going to set them up into the red zone. Now that's going to be three consecutive completions for number 19. Joey Jackson dumping it off to Callahan. The fullback left unaccounted for. He's in for the Portland State touchdown. That's going to give them this seven point lead back. Good coverage all around the board. Other than we forgot about the fullback. Here's a toss to the left and then a toss back to the right. This is Gerard Doolin looking to throw the football. And he's going to connect with Jake Munoz out at midfield. 20 yards there on first down. Nobody saw that coming there. Here's Brandon Adrian. Another carry for him. He has just three rush attempts so far, but over 60 yards. Now Spencer throwing over the middle. Adriano can catch the football too. The Bobcats are already in the red zone on this next drive. Getting a bunch of chunk plays so far. Now here's a handoff. This is Devin Greco. He gets the edge and the Bobcat touchdown. His second rushing touchdown in as many weeks. And we are tying this game up once again at 14 apiece. Early on, it looks like we may have a shootout on our hands. Ellis runs the football, but then he loses it. Another forced fumble by Montana State. This time, Kirkpatrick forced it, but unfortunately, once again, MSU unable to recover. First play of the second quarter goes backwards for Portland State. It's going to be a loss of about seven yards there. 
Joey Jackson now on third down. He's going to be taken down. He got away from one man there. There was Corey Rivaro he got away from, but then gets taken down by Marquez Randolph, and this defense gets their first stop today. We're going to run it on first down, and finally they're able to contain Adrian while holding them to just two yards. On second down, John Spencer throws off his back foot. There is Jake Munoz across the 30-yard line. Well over 1,000 yards receiving for him so far this year. Definitely the best receiving uh, year anyone has had in this series so far for the Bobcats. Play action. Throwing to the end zone is Spencer looking for Jake Munoz into some traffic, though, and an incompletion. John Spencer firing this one over the middle there looking for Munoz again, but that pass was off the mark. On third down, the Bobcats look to throw for it for the third straight time, looking for Jake Munoz. And for a third straight time, it is incomplete going his way there. It was in his hands for a split second, but he was not able to hold on to it. We are in field goal range, though. The kick is up. It is good. And Harry Williams is going to give us the three-point lead. Ellis running the football for Portland State, but he's held to no gain on the play. Two tackles for loss for Corey Rivera so far today. Dumping it off to Pruitt in the flat, and he'll pick up about two or three yards receiving. Joey Jackson, five straight completions for him so far today. Can he complete another one here on third down? He's going to take a shot here. Ellis makes the reception, and he is gone. Touchdown, Portland State, as he just got past the secondary there. The running back making a big play receiving. 78-yard receiving touchdown there, and that's going to give them the lead back. Spencer tries taking a shot on first down, but that's just not there. On second down, rolling to his left, floating this pass up into the air. And the pass is going to be picked by Perkins, tackled immediately by Munoz. But an unfortunate play there for Montana State. I, was, I wanted to bullet it there, but since I was under a lot of pressure, I didn't. And really just a dumb mistake. It wasn't like it was third down or anything. And they're going to have the football now in Bobcat territory to start off this next drive. The first pass is going to be incomplete as Jackson was forced to throw off of his back foot. On second down, it's a toss play for Ellis, but he's going to get taken down in the backfield. John O'Brien with a six-yard tackle for loss. Portland State is faced now with a third down and long, and they're not going to get it. They tried throwing over the middle for it, but this defense is going to get a stop, so they're not going to be able to do anything with that INT. Spencer trying to put together a two-minute drill. Takes a shot from Munoz, but that's just not there once again. On second down, Spencer trying to set up the screen there, and Adriano cannot make the catch. John Spencer's just 2 of 10 so far in today's game. And then on third down, Spencer goes down, sacked on the play, fourth down and 16, and we're going to have to punt. Under a minute left to go in the quarter here, throwing over the middle for Kennedy, who's back into the ball game, picking up 9 yards. Second and one. Jackson to throw the football. He's got time and he's going to be intercepted. Josh Powell across the 30, the 40-yard line where he steps out of bounds at the 42. This Bobcat defense getting a turnover here and can't help but be impressed with, it, with what the defense has really done so far. I mean, they've given up a couple of big plays, but also like they're playing better than they normally have this season other than I guess last week where they did force a shutout. Second and 10, John Spencer takes a snap, rolls to his right. This is a floater out here for Nate Charles, who can't hold on to that one. That would have that settled us up in field goal range there. Here on third down, John Spencer fires to the left side. Some toe drag swag from Jake Munoz. He is playing some fantastic football right now. Going back to Munoz way on the left sideline, and they're calling it in bounds. They're saying he got both feet in. We'll have to take a look at the replay. Working on the linebacker here, and that's really tough to tell from that angle, but you know what? I'll take it. Spencer throwing off his back foot, looking for Adriano, but the pass is incomplete. A high snap now. John Spencer's moving to his right, throws back across his body there, and another incomplete pass. On third down, Montana State looks to convert. Spencer fires over the middle, looking for Munoz, but the pass is going to be tipped over the middle. We are in field goal range, though. This is Harry Williams from 38 yards out. His kick is up, and it is good. And that's going to put us down by just one point at halftime. 
The Bobcats are going to get the football to start off the second half of play. Portland State kicking this one off. We got Greco in the end zone who did not secure the football. Doolin picks it up and gets out to about the five yard line. That is not good field position to start off the third quarter. Adriano to the left side picks up about a yard or two there. On second down, we're going to give him the football again, running into a bunch of defenders, and he ends up losing a yard. On third down, firing to the left side, the pass is going to be tipped up into the air, intercepted by Cole, who gets tackled into the end zone for the Portland State touchdown. An unfortunate 22-yard pick six by the Vikings. Spencer, he was under a little bit of pressure, forced to get that pass out to the left side. Off the hands of Gerard Doolin, tipped into the air, and it's going to be a pick six. Montana State down by eight now. Trying to stay true to the ground game here. Adrian only picks up one yard, though. Still trying to run the football. Here he gets a little bit of space out across the 30-yard line. The 40 makes a defender miss and then fumbles the football. Luckily, it will go out of bounds, so Montana State will maintain possession of it. Off the play, fake Spencer's rolling to Hazel. Right throws at the last second there for Jake Munoz. Made one defender fall over. Gets brought down at the 20-yard line. Over 30 yards on the play. A high snap. John Spencer moving to his left. Throws at the last second. And that was a near interception. Trying to throw to Munoz again. Out of the eye formation. We're going to run the football with Greco up the middle. And he'll pick up about three yards. MSU looking to convert on third down. Now John Spencer rolling to his left. And he's got the first down. Diving at the five yard line. First and goal. John Spencer is going to pitch this one out to Adriano. He's going to get brought down after picking up about two yards. Second and goal now. Spencer rolling to his left. He's got a wide open Jake Munoz. That's going to be a Bobcat touchdown. Coach Choate wants to go for two here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to choose to just kick the extra point, but still a, a great play here. John Spencer rolling to his left, gets it out to Munoz, and we are down by just one point yet again. That was a near big play there for the Vikings. Luckily, the pass was overthrown. Jackson over the middle connects with Ellis who then loses the football and this time the Bobcats are able to recover it. Marquez Randolph there getting us great field position to start off this next drive. The Bobcats trying to come back in this game. Not really come back but we were down by 8 after that unfortunate pick 6. Here's Adriano right up the middle. Another big run for him. Only 11 carries for him so far today but he has well over 100 yards. We give him the football again. He's held to about a yard or two there. Second and goal. Here's Spencer looking to throw. Fires to the end zone looking for Munoz, but the pass is going to fall incomplete. On third and goal, we're looking to throw the football again. John Spencer rolling to his right. Throws at the last second, and there just really wasn't anyone open on that play. So we're going to have to settle for a third field goal from Harry Williams, which is up and good, giving MSU the two-point lead. Less than a minute left to go into the third quarter now. Joy Jackson quickly throws on first down, but it's off the mark and incomplete. Second and ten. Jackson to throw the football. Firing to the left side, and he's going to be picked off. Jed Torrey jumped the route and gets the Bobcat INT once again, giving us great field position in enemy territory. First down and 10 now at the 38-yard line. Spencer moving to his left. He's going to take off and run the 30. The 20-yard line dragged down inside of the red zone. Another big run from John Spencer today. Here's Brandon Adriano taking this one to the right side. He had some nice blocking there. Only picks up about, what, 7 yards? Into the fourth quarter now. This is a high snap for Spencer, who's moving to his left. Is he going to run? Yes, he will. Trying to get the touchdown. He's going to get pushed out of bounds a couple of yards shy. On first down and goal, we're going to give it to Adriano, but he's not going to get it. Second and goal, I formation. Here's Brandon Adriano, and once again, he's going to be stuffed. Third down, we're going to give it to Brian Brown now, and the power running back gets into the end zone for the Bobcat touchdown. That's going to put us up by eight points after we hit the extra point. We're going to be up by nine points now. A one-yard run punches it into the end zone, and that's going to give us the two-score lead. Joy Jackson trying to get Portland State back into this ballgame, trying to make it a one-score game yet again. There he connects with Callahan for eight yards. 
On second, down they fake to toss. Jackson rolling to his left and throws back across his body for Pruitt, who gets some nice yards after the catch. Can this defense get him the 20, the 10-5 touchdown? Portland State getting this back in within a two-point game now. Throwing back across his body there, and it was just all run after the catch after that. Brock Eugene could not catch him. Here's Adriana now on the run. He got some nice blocking. Midfield made a defender miss the 30, the 20. He is gone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Just a one-play drive. Brandon Adriano takes it 80 yards to the crib. That's going to put him over 200 yards for the second straight week. What a big run here by Adriano. Made that last man miss, and he was gone. MSU back up by nine. Jackson firing over the middle for Perkins, who is going to get tripped up out across the 45-yard line. Portland State down by nine, but definitely not out of this game. They're going to run the football here, but they're not going to get it. Atkins makes the play. Second and long. Jackson firing to the right side there. Perkins makes another reception. That's going to set up third down and short. 2.30 left to go into the game. They give it to the fullback. Callahan, he's going to get brought down shy of the first down marker there. Corey Rivara, he makes the stop. That's going to lead to fourth and one. The offense, of course, is going to stay out onto the field. Callahan gets the carry, and he's going to pick up the first down, keeping this drive alive. They are negative in terms of, running, of, of rushing yards, though. This defense has done a great job stopping the run so far today. Stopping the pass, uh, not so much as, as you just saw there. Joey Jackson, five straight completions. Under two minutes left to go now in the game. Callahan makes another reception. The fullback has been pretty involved so far in today's game out of the 22-yard line now. Jackson thrown to the right side, and that pass is going to be dropped, but that will give them a chance to do a little bit of a breather as they had they were doing a lot of hurry-up offense here. Jackson now throwing to the end zone. That's going to be ruled a touchdown to Perkins. Look at this replay. You cannot defend a perfect pass there. The coverage was great, but the pass was greater, and that's going to make this a two-point game yet again. Portland State will attempt the onside kick, but Jake Munoz is there for the kick recovery. All we have to do now is run out this clock if we can. Portland State does have all of their timeouts, though. Here's Adriano running right up the middle. He's going to get smacked after picking up just one yard there. Adriano to the right side. He's going to lose a couple of yards there. So now third down and 11. We're going to give it to Brandon Adriano, who runs one man over there. Picks up about two or three yards. That's going to lead to fourth down. So now Williams from 45 yards out. His kick is up. It is good. That's going to make this a five-point game. So Portland State has 44 seconds to get into the end zone. A field goal does them no good now. Jackson trying to flip this one out on first down, but the pass is going to be incomplete and batted away at the line. On second down now, Jackson fires off his back foot here. A floater for Kennedy, who gets out of bounds after picking up nine yards. Out of the eye formation, this is third down and one. Jackson rolling to his left, right into a sack there. That was Jed Torrey on the cornerback blitz. A great call defensively by the Bobcats. That's going to lead to fourth down and five. Jackson throwing over the middle, and the pass is going to be dropped. And Montana State is going to win this game. Victory formation for MSU. And that's going to lead to a five-point victory by the Bobcats. Pulling off the upset here. Probably the best game of the season for Montana State. Definitely the best game of the season. It was a fun shootout there. It was our ground game against their passing game. And our ground game ended up winning in this one here. Brandon H. Rano, we're going to check out his stats in a second. But back-to-back 200-yard -back day performances for him. That will put him over, over 2,000 or 1,000, I should say, rushing yards on the season so far. That is also going to go down as my number 10 greatest game of all time so far. Uh, looking at the stats, John Spencer just 6 out of 23. He, he just does not have a very good completion percentage. Uh, maybe it's lack of weapons, although I think we got some pretty solid ones around him, especially in age round, as you saw over 200 yards rushing. Munoz had 6 of these 7 receptions today. You got to remember we did have that one trick play early on where we had uh, the we receiver throughout Doolin pass it out to Munoz for 20 yards. Munoz had another fantastic ball game. He capped it up with a touchdown over 100 yards. And then this defense, they got themselves 2 interceptions and a couple of sacks. And with that performance, we're going to get offensive and defensive players of the week with Brandon Adriano and Kirkpatrick. 
Looking at some other games in the Big Sky Conference this week, the Grizzlies are going to beat the Bengals 34-24, getting a victory there. Eastern Washington is going to get the victory over Weber State, bouncing off their big loss against us. And then finally, NAU is going to get the victory over the Vandals, definitely not Idaho's best season. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, this has been Jeffrey, reminding you to stay moist.